Do not listen to this speech. Do not watch this speech. Do not speak really after this speech. Censorship has been around since the beginning of mankind. And John Dever, seen here, talked to the Senate about this problem. When his song, Rocky Mountain High, was banned for being a drug-related song, which he denies being drug-related, saying that it's about the beauty. And he argues that how can we judge something when we do not know the clear intent of it? He uses strong parallelism, repetition, and metaphors to fully express this and make sure the message is clear to such a powerful committee who is listening to this. Perhaps the best, strongest showing of his historical speaking skills was his use of parallelism. Denver stated that the suppression of people of society against in the mind was censorship of written or spoken word. It is so in Nazi Germany. It is in so many places today that there are powers afraid of consequences of informed and educated people. This is an incredibly risky statement to say, because not only is he comparing the great state of America to Nazi Germany, which is very taboo to say at any moment of time, but it's also challenging the intelligence of the Senate, which in any other scenario would most likely cause someone to be immediately cut off. But he talks more and shows that it's not just a jab, it's a warning. He warns that would they become the ones that they scoff at? Would they become what they're afraid of? By censoring a few words, can you cause so much damage? Freedom of speech is important to Denver. Music is important to Denver. Repetition is important to Denver. Repetition was his main use of the speech. Several occasions he used repetition. While many people say repetition becomes repetitious, repetition actually aids his work. His most powerful statement stating this is, our children, our people, our society, and the world cannot afford this. We cannot afford this. We cannot afford to have our art taken away and replaced by grayness. We cannot afford that, he says. He says, we cannot afford this ways to put essence on the word our instead of we. We just says everyone. By having our, it adds ownership. He wanted to emphasize ownership, causing ethos to come in, causing pathos for being able to have pity for the world by knowing that it is our responsibility. He wanted to reiterate that by using repetition by saying, we must, they must, we must have this. And metaphors are also very strong in his work. He uses it in a very crude manner, but makes sure that the rest of the speech is strong enough to go ahead and make up for this lack of help. Because he's says, I suggest explicit lyrics and graphic videos are not so far removed from what I've seen on television, and that we should point our finger at the courting industry while watching general public and nationally televised baseball game, Chan Nielsen, the Blue Jays suck. <laughs> Using the word suck is not something you normally see in a Senate speech. It's very uncouth. But he uses this as a perfect metaphor, saying, if the word suck is allowed, if it's actually encouraged, why can't we have lyrics that may or may not involve drugs? Because you cannot say that beauty is drugs. You cannot say drugs is beauty. You cannot automatically say that unless it says straight up, this is about drugs. And his song was not about that. Other things got pretty much banned almost, like his baby Oh God ended up being not a lot of advertisements because people are so worried that he's offending God when his movie is actually supporting God, which is very ironic that it was done so. And he wants to make sure that there's no difference between my movie and a baseball game. There is no difference between song lyrics potentially being raunchy and raunchy soap operas that are loved. So that shows a great comparison through his metaphors. And leaving on a thought of hope, because throughout the whole thing, he kept on reiterating and using the word hope over and over again. He talked about music being an outlet. He said he talked to many suicidal teenagers and said music was their outlet. And talking about drugs and songs helps them, or if it's not about songs, just pure beauty. Like, music is a way to help compensate for relationships, because he shows that parents don't get children, and children don't get parents. By having a common ground of art and literature, it's a way for them to get together. So he shows that there is hope as long as we do not diminish it by having powers that say this is split, 
This cannot be seen in public. This is taboo. He shows that there is hope through expression. So do listen. Do watch the world. And do speak freely. Thank you.